Android Wear has been around for a while, but since release it hasn't seen many truly major updates. With Android Wear 2.0 however, that changes. I'm Ben with iTech Triad, and let's take a closer look. So first things first, let's talk about the watch face. Now in 2.0, you'll be able to swipe left or right on the main screen to switch between your current and favorite watch faces. You'll also be able to add a few of your favorite watch faces to the main carousel to reduce clutter with other options moving to a new drawer. Now swiping up from the watch face, we'll get access to the new notification feed where the cards have been completely redesigned. Everything is now full screen and it looks fantastic on a round display. Now one other big change is is that you'll now need to tap on a card to pull up the quick actions rather than just swiping from side to side. Going back to the main screen however, you'll notice that the quick settings menu has been changed. Rather than using a paginated list, you'll now have all your quick settings on just one spot. Now one shortcut in particular worth noting is the brightness toggle which Google has finally added. Now Google has also made some modifications to navigation in this version of Android Wear. Now you'll rely mainly on the hardware button to move around as it acts as a back button and the launcher for the app drawer. Now it'll take some getting used to, but it makes total sense. Another thing worth noting is that you'll now be able to launch the voice command screen with a long press of the hardware button, although the OK Google command will still work on the watch face. Now as for quick replies, you'll have access to voice and emoji replies as well as canned responses and a keyboard, because why not? One other note that I'm sad to report is that it seems Google has ditched the brightness boost and theater mode options, both things I will be sad to see go. Now of course there's a lot more that's new in this update including standalone apps and some other minor changes that Google will most likely make over the coming weeks. But for now this is what we've got. What do you think of this new update? Now if you're eager to try this out and you have a Huawei watch I'll leave links to Google's tutorials on how to install this as well as one from Root Junkie who has a super easy tutorial to follow. But that'll go ahead and do it for this video. If you enjoyed it be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more videos coming up soon. As as always, a huge thank you for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.